this is a synopsis of the purpose of life and and my thoughts on it. I'm a theorist and a realist. I believe that math, science, and personal witnesses are the only three things on this earth that justify what is real in life. Once we witness what is out there, then it becomes real to that person or group of people. Before we begin to know it, then that thing does not have meaning in our lives. But everything is here, and everything is working, and adds to our ability to survive and to thrive in our lives. So, everything was here before we became conscious of it. Therefore, even if we don't observe it, it does exist. And it doesn't matter what that, quote, it is. Things are and always will be with or without man or woman's observance of it. We may witness things in the stage of our minds, the vision from our eyes, the hearing of our ears, the feeling of our hearts, and all of our other senses. There may be feelings that are manifest in us that solidify beliefs that are false and beliefs that are true. It is up to us as our individual thoughts to decipher what is, what is true and false. Be careful. There are many who try to deceive you to gain for themselves power over your choices. If you find yourself unable to do things in a moderate and healthy manner, then you are being deceived into believing that what you are doing is good, when in fact overzealousness in any manner is evil or bad. There, there must be moderation in all things to be healthy. If there is not, then it is unhealthy and corruptible, which is not sustainable. It might feel good for a moment, but over time it will not last. There are many things of which we must accomplish daily in this life. Hating and doing things that tear down the good in life is not a thing that should be done at all. If you find yourself doing this thing, then you are automatically in the wrong, false, or evil. Hating and lying are the two worst things that humanity has done to each other. If a child asks for a fish, does the father give him a stone? That, sadly, has been happening more and more with how the world views right and wrong. They see right and wrong, or good and evil, as optional. If you eat a rotten apple, do you get sick? <clears throat> if a man beats his wife, in the man, is the man guilty? The man just, quote, ate, or beat his wife, the rotten apple. He will be judged by becoming, quote, sick, by either being judged by the laws of society or the laws of karma, a.k.a. God. When we do things that are right, correct, or in line with good goals, then we reap the rewards immediately. The rewards will either be held up by, by karma or will be paid back to us in full, plus some, or they will be given to us here and now, here and now in the form of worldly goods. I believe that when we do good towards others and ourselves, we add up blessings or goods that goods and services to our eternal savings account. We are able to withdraw those savings for blessings in this life for good purposes. We may also withdraw those savings of our good works in the hereafter. After we are dead, we will be able to cash out these blessings from our from the help that we have given to others and our families, including ourselves. The type of currency is con counted in waves of the heart or electrical impulses of the heart. If those impulses are positive or more for more than 50% of the time, then we are brought to a place that is free from bondage. If we are below that 50% mark throughout our whole entire lives, then we, then we don't have the capability to be free from the negative thoughts that we have built up throughout our lives in our hearts. It is my goal to make my heart waves positive 100% of the time, Doing this will free me from any addiction of evil. And when I say evil, I mean addictions from drinking, smoking, chewing tobacco, caffeine, things that have a withdrawal symptom, and things that are unhealthy for my mind as well. I need to stay away from the negative addictions of my thoughts. I need to stay away from thoughts that hate and stay very, very close, embracing the thoughts of good humanity. Practicing my thinking pattern like shooting a ball into a hoop or kicking a ball into a goal is what I need to do every day. I even use the imagery of doing one of these th two, two things, attaching a positive attitude on the ball so that it goes into the hoop or into the goal. It is exercise and it takes effort. Imagery is just one of the many things that we can do to improve our positive thinking patterns. Another way is to feel thanks 
for the world around us that has been given to us by, yes, our Heavenly Father. Yes, there are fake fathers. There are pretenders who try to gather your allegiance to them. Of these you must not obey, and you must know how to identify one or the other. If you get a confused or awkward feeling when thinking about following the individual in your thoughts or, or in person, then you know that the person in question is one of an evil wrong or wrong purpose. If on the other hand, when conversing with a person who thinks in color, who thinks with clarity, with the ability to, to decipher good from evil, then you might want to consider trusting that person. However, if his or her convictions give you that tumultuous or empty feeling within your gut, you may know that the spirit has an evil purpose. Why am I focusing on good and evil? I think I'm doing this because so many of us need to know how to decipher between good and evil. We need to know what is good and what is evil. We need to have a definite validity to why we feel a certain way around certain people or with particular ideas. I know that what we think and what we do has an everlasting effect in our lives and in the lives of those around us. What we do has an everlasting effect on our children and their children. We must do what we know to be right as far as we know it. If we fall short by neglecting to do good or by doing evil by our own knowledge of it, then we are eating that rotten apple, and we'll, we will reap the consequences by feeling guilty, having societal punishments, or by not having a place for our souls after this life.